Hello, friends. Thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to your first episode of the Mini Mindset Elevators. We're going to jump right in with these episodes. So I have taken on a new eight-week workout calendar with some of the clients turned friends in my virtual gym that I run, and I knew going into this calendar that I was going to have to really push myself during these eight weeks. It's going to challenge me, and I'm using a Mexico trip that I have scheduled at the end of the eight weeks as motivation to really see what I can accomplish, both mentally and physically. So I had this one workout coming up this week, and the night before it, I'm already in my head about how sore I am, how hard it's going to be, some moves that I'm expecting to be in it that aren't my favorites. It's been a few years since I've done a workout that will be incorporated into this calendar. And so I'm already kind of suspecting what's ahead. And I woke up and I told myself, Erica, you know, you took quitting as an option off the table years ago, right? So what are you going to do? Are you going to complain? until you push play and then also complain the whole way through it. I'm tired. It's already making me tired. Your attitude. What's that going to do for you? You know, thinking negatively is just way too much work, girl. And it really requires more energy to be negative than it does to be positive. It's exhausting. So I asked myself, what can I get hype about in this moment? It's been years since you've taken on this particular workout in front of you today. What if you're stronger? And then I'm like, well, duh, of course I'm stronger. So already the excitement is building. And now I can't wait to push play because I can't wait to see how much more I can do. It was just that simple choice, right? To realize that I can't control the workout on the calendar this morning because quitting isn't even on the table for me. So it was a choice in that moment to not focus on the workout itself, the moves themselves. I can't change those things, but instead focus on me, on my progress, on seeing what my body could do today, on my attitude going in. So I get out to my workout space and I crank up the music and I dance. Dancing to one song like no one is watching can change my whole damn mood. One of these days, my husband or my kids are going to catch me. So I'm about halfway to three quarters of the way through the workout, you know, like right when you start asking yourself, how much longer? And I said to myself, damn girl, this ain't so bad. That means you are stronger. That means your commitment is paying off. I am so proud of you. And man, coming to that realization is way better than going into that workout thinking how bad it could suck. Pushing through that halfway point, telling myself how awful it was and that I could slow down because it was just too hard. Change your thoughts and you change your world. This is just one little example of exactly that. So what are you carrying from your past this, like, Maybe week, maybe month, maybe year. What are you carrying from your past? It could be from yesterday. What is it that you're carrying that's getting your energy and your focus? Or what are you dreading that's coming up for you today or next week or next month? Maybe you haven't even shared it with anyone. But when I just asked you that, your mind went directly to the thing. You know what I'm talking about. That means it's getting your energy, friend. Whether you're giving it a voice or not, it's there. And it steals your energy when you don't realize it. And it steals your joy when you're not expecting it to bubble up. What good is it doing you to think negatively about it? And if you're anything like me, that stuff bubbles up about 3 a.m. At the worst time, right? But look, maybe we can't avoid the thing or change whatever it is. It happened or it's going to happen. What good is it doing to continuously highlight the negative? So let's try something different. Whatever it is, I challenge you to think about something positive that will come from it or how you can learn or grow from it or how you can approach it with a more open mind or how just maybe it really won't be so bad. 
because you can't change it. And we're not here to avoid problems or pretend we don't have them, but I'd rather see you focus on how you can use your mind to not let those problems consume you, steal your energy and your joy. Don't give them that. They don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. What you give energy to grows. So what are you growing? What are you growing? Stop watering the weeds, friend. It's not easy. It's downright hard to find the flowers among the weeds sometimes. But when you do, it's captivating, isn't it? I just pictured like this beautiful red flowers among the weeds for some reason. It's captivating. You can do that with the good in your life too. You can choose to be captivated by it by giving those things your focus, giving them your energy, helping those good things grow. I believe the flowers can overtake the weeds if you choose to treat them like they deserve that space. And it is damn worth the work. I take time for this type of thought work every single morning because that's what it takes for me. It's an effort every morning to shift my focus to positive things, just like it's an effort to get out of bed and to push play on a workout and to pick out my clothes for the day. It should be a daily practice to pick out your thoughts too. And that's what I challenge you to today. And from now on, pick your thoughts like you pick out your clothes and stop watering the weeds. You matter. I appreciate you. And I am excited for all the beautiful days you have the power to create. Have a great day, friend.